Hey guys, it's Navjot Singh Jadeja and welcome to today's lecture on operators. In the earlier lecture, we have seen different types of operators on the basis of number of operands as well as as you can see it in here, C supports basically 8 types of operators which includes arithmetic operators, assignment operators, increment decrement operators, relational operators, logical operators, conditional operators, bitwise operators and a special class of operators which is special operators. So in this video, we'll be seeing each of them in the detail with an example. So let's begin. So first of all, we are going to talk on arithmetic operators. They are the ones which are used for performing mathematical functions. And as you know all the mathematical symbols, so the plus, minus, star, and uh, you know slash, which includes the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So basically, as you can see, we have two operands, and we can add it up, and then on the basis of that, we can use or get the results. There is one more operator which is percentage symbol which is for modulo which gives you the remainder. So in order to find out the remainder we use the modulo operators. right? Next up is assignment operators. So this is basically used to store the values. right? It copies or stores the values into assigning. And we have, we have an example in here for the same. So we have a variable equal to expression. So how do you interpret that? We have an example. x is equal to y. So whatever the value of y will be stored in x. And if you understand, c works from the you know right to the left of your current screen where you are there instead of my screen. Then 4 plus 5 is equal to x. So whatever the total will be, will be stored in x. And similarly assigning the value is equal to 3.1416 which is a global constant. So this is another operator which is used to perform different tasks. So this is assignment operator. Next up we have the shorthand operators. So shorthand operators are like where we have the equation in here which is an uh, equation with the arithmetic operators. We have a is equal to a plus 20. So if we have the variable as in the same on the both sides of the equal to then we can use shorthand operators to reduce the size of the equation and it will become like this a plus equal to 20 and remember that plus comes before the equal to because this is how we go about and do the shorthand operators and for that you will require a little bit of practice when you are actually coding using the shorthand operator it is considered that you have better control over your programming and this is how different results will come and if you know if you understand we have plus equal to operator as in the first example value of a before applying that is 20 and then we apply a plus equal to which is the basic meaning which is a plus 20 so the result becomes 40. Similarly we have the minus equal to using the same value of the a then it becomes a is equal to a minus 20 which results in 0. So similarly you can use this. This is for your understanding and interpretation. So you can use shortened operator to re uh, replace the arithmetic and uh, assignment operators. Furthermore we have the increment and decrement operators. They are used in order to increment the values or decrement the values within the program with the help of these operators. So this very equation which we can write with the help of a is equal to a plus 1 can be replaced with the help of a plus plus a equation or even a plus plus. Now there is a question what would be done in the case of plus plus a and a plus plus. In the current scenario both would result in increment by 1. But there are different scenarios and pre-increment and post-increment are applied based on the requirement and that we will see also in the further part when we use them within the loops right so this is how we can use the increment and decrement operators uh, for your understanding i have got some example so you understand where a plus plus results into something and plus plus a results into something so the first case where a is equal to 20 in both the cases it will result into 21 right and in the second case it will result into 19 when it is negative 
so when we have those kind of scenarios we use increment decrement operators right then the next set of operators is relational operators where we are comparing the results right two operands are compared in the earlier video i gave you an example comparing averages of two batsmen comparing the number of goals uh, scored by ronaldo and messi similar cases so we have the equal to equal to operator that we have the less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to and not equal to and according to that there are different ways of using it so if you are comparing the values let's say uh, let you are trying to assume that the time equal to 4 then you have to write it like time equal to equal to 4 because uh, assignment operator and relational operators both have equal to so in the relational operators will be using double symbols which is equal to equal to so similarly as you can see we have different examples so if 4 equal to equal to 4 it will return 1 5 greater than 2 again 1 in other scenarios when x Le, uh, eight less than or equal to six because that is not true. It will return zero. So the overall output in this case of operators is either one or zero, true or false. Next set of operators which we have is used for logical operations. In order to perform logical operations within the programming, we have logical operators where we have and in, which is a logical operation to join two things or Uh, you know combine two things and compare then we have the or operation which is symbolized by a straight line so in there we compare either or conditions like either of them are true or not and this is a, as the tables represent the logical operations which are there as a part of digital circuits similarly we have the not operation as well so logical operators play a part when we are performing logical operations then we have the ternary operators in the earlier part of the video or the earlier video i did tell you that based on the operator operands we have either unary binary or ternary operators so conditional operators are ternary operators where we are performing a syntax based on this kind of a expression so there is an expression question mark then if it is true that condition if it is false colon and then the false condition and then we end with the semicolon so this kind of operators are used when we want to compare uh, you know something is in the value and then either return true or false or some or the other output uh, so the example which i have here is like i have a value which is x is equal to 10 y is equal to 20 so if i have the equation max is equal to x greater than y question mark if this is true it will return x as per the expression which is given above or colon it will return y so ultimately it will store whatever the maximum value is right so this is how we do the conditional operators as i said in earlier video also we will be coming up with more and more programs and examples this is only for your revision purpose but in each of the operators we will write one program in the further videos next up in order to perform bitwise uh, operations within the programming we have the bitwise operators like you know which will actually give you uh, uh, results of and or complement or xor so i have a table in here which will actually give you the results of the logical operations on the basis of bitwise so this is again uh, you know specific to the bit operations which we perform using the programming and as i said the final one the special one so we have the comma operator when we are declaring in the you know declaration section so integer x comma y and assigning the values and other thing so the comma operator separates the variables into a uh, different names then we have the size of operator which is actually used to find out the size of a particular data type and we would be seeing the same in the further part of the videos also and uh, you know the videos in the pointers in the lecture tutorial series also includes the same in the direct memory access also we have used the size of operators as well and there is also address of operator which is uh, you have been using in the scanf ampersand symbol which is used to find or give the address to a particular variable more on the address operators will be discussed in the you know as i said the pointers unit 
which is there already on the channel so you can refer the same so these are the operators in c in order to perform different operations again in the earlier video we have discussed either they are on a basis of operands uh, unary binary and ternary or the eight classes of operators on the basis of their operations so that's it for the operators if you like our efforts please like share and subscribe the video and if you have any queries feel free to comment in the comment section thank you so much have a great day